This shot is called a split focus diopter. It's achieved by putting half a convex glass lens over your camera. It allows two subjects at varying distances to be in focus simultaneously. But most people just know it as that Brian De Palma thing. Either way, we're gonna talk about it. Cue intro. The split diopter, or split focus, is a filming technique that was introduced in the mid 20th century to enhance storytelling by emphasizing thoughts, observations, foreshadowings, and discomfort to the audience. Things that the audience might not pick up on if it stayed out of focus. This has made it a common practice in a lot of horror and thriller movies in the last few decades. Exactly like you. What makes this such an unnerving illusion is how the viewer is focusing on two things at once, something that you can't do with the naked eye. Now, distance and light are two really important factors here. It'll determine how you can frame and compose your shot. Your distance will allow depth of field, or that thing that happens when your background goes out of focus. You need this in order for your glass to magnify the other half of your subject. This works best if your camera has larger aperture capabilities, or a lower f-stop. Typically, the lower the better. That'll give you that nice, sexy, cinematic... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting ahead of myself. It looks good. Now that you have that, you'll either need to A, blast on whatever light you have possible for your scene, or 2, find a place with any available natural light. This really isn't a good place to shoot. Now, the thing with lower f-stops is the kind of light you need in order to control your shot. Natural light will often under or overexpose it, so having an appropriate lighting setup makes a big difference for how your shot will turn out. Like this. See what I mean? Here, I'm shooting with a 24 to 70 with an f-stop of 4. It works pretty well, but focal lengths greater than 24 and smaller than 50 tend to work the easiest, in my humble opinion, especially if you're new to these things. I also like to frame these shots a bit wider so I can punch in in post-production if I need to. Pop on that lens, face the glass towards your subject, and wow, you're already halfway to winning an Oscar. Or at least the decade's next cult classic. You can also create this look in post by focusing on two separate subjects and layering the two halves together. Okay. Hell yeah. That's the one. That's the one. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other videos, and be sure to turn on that bell for post notifications. F my light just went out. See you guys next time. Bye.